हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम बैक टू अवर चैनल जियोलॉजिका ड्यूरिंग माई ग्रेजुएसन आई फील इट इज वेरी मच डिफिकल्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड सेवरल टाइप ऑफ माइक्रोफोसल्स लाइक वी हैव द फोरम इनिफेरा वी हैव कोनोडाउंस वी हैव नैनो प्लांटन्स डाइटम्स रेडियोलेरियंस वेदर पोलन एंड स्पोर्ट्स डाइनोफ्लाजलेट सो एवरी थिंग आई मैस्ड अप सो फाइनली हियर आई हैव अ डेफिनेट फ्लो चार्ट टू अंडरस्टैंड what microfossil have what composition and how they are classified for our study purpose so if you are preparing for the exams like gate net or iit gem this video is going to help you or if you are generally interested in the uh, uh, in studying the micro paleontology or normal paleontology this video is going to help you but before you begin you can join our telegram channel that is geologica 2020 to get the instant notification what we are going to do or some uh, additional study material head notes flow charts diagrams images so you will get all of these things in this telegram channel you can also ask me any question through the instagram through this id or you can join me now let us see how i have made the classification or the general classification which an any student can understand easily so this classification i am talking about the wall composition so as you know that each fossil have a core body and then it has the wall which surrounds its body so we are talking about the composition of its wall and based on this composition we will see how to classify them so based on the wall composition we can classify the oh, micro fossil into two groups okay first group is based on the organic wall when you have the organic wall means carbonic that is carbon rich and on the other hand we have some micro fossils which are having mineral in their wall okay so now we have classified into two groups mineral world and organic world now let's let us see what type of mineral can be there so the general mineral which we know can be calcite that is caco3 or we call it a calcareous wall composition another is sio2 that is we call it as a siliceous composition and the third one is your phosphatic composition okay phosphatic and the fourth and last one is your cytinocalcareous or the chitinocalcareous whatever you pronounce it chitinocalcareous okay <clears throat> now we will see what minerals are present in these composition so if we talk about the mineral uh, the micro fossils having the mineral wall of calcium carbonate or the uh, carbonaceous mineral wall micro fossils so we have mainly two the first one is your well known foraminifera okay that is fora minifera i hope it is a little bit glitch in my pen so uh, another the calcareous walled micro fossil is your nanoplanktons okay that is nanoplankton then we will turn towards the sio2 or the siliceous wall composition micro fossils so again we have two i hope uh, you all hear this name that is radiolaria okay radiolaria and other is diatoms okay then we have the phosphatic wall composition micro fossil 
that are conodonts. Okay, conodonts. Then the last one is our cytinocalcareous wall, and in this, the mineral comes are ostracoda or the ostracods. O S T R A C O D S. That is ostracods. So this, these all are the mineral wall microfossil. There are a lot of other microfossil also, but the main, which uh, generally asked in many exams, and you have to know these things. Then we have the organic wall microfossil, and the well known are two. First one is your dinoflagellates. Okay, D I A N O, <coughs> flage. Let's okay. So this is the organic wall microfossil, and another one is which is very known is your pollen and spores. Okay, pollen and spores. Okay, so this are the general classification for the microfossils so now let us summarize it so uh, we have classified on the basis of wall of composition we have the mineral wall microfossils we have the organic wall microfossil in the mineral wall we have the three type of minerals that are calcareous siliceous phosphatic and cytinocalcareous so in the calcareous wall we have the microfossils related to the micro uh, sorry related to the foraminifera we have the nanoplanktons we have the radiolarians we have diatoms radiolarian and diatoms comes under the siliceous wall then we have conodonts under the phosphatic wall and under the cytinocalcareous we have ostracods then dinoflagellates and pollen and spores both are belongs to the organic wall microfossils so this is a general classification i hope you got my point and if you like this make a simple this type of flowchart in your study room or in your copy this is just a small but very helpful understanding the microfossils so it's all about for today i hope you like the video if you like just share with your friends so that many people also got benefited thank you